Welcome back to the Surround Sound Podcast. We are inside the Entertainment Report. It's a really hip-hop birthday celebrity thing we got going on right now. Okay, three three very good rappers from my childhood and thereafter. First up, Trick Daddy. Yeah, Trick Daddy, um, Miami's Finest, the 305, you know, really held the torch for the 305 kind of after Luke Skywalker and the whole two live crew phase, he held it down. He held it down and then gave the torch to like Rick Ross and, you know, and others. Uh, Pitbull, all of them, yeah. Lil Wayne's birthday. Yeah. A lot of people say that Lil Wayne could be the GOAT MC. All I know is. He changed up the flow and things got ballistic. Things got bananas with Lil Wayne. I definitely put him, he's top 10 for sure. And I wouldn't be mad if some people put him in top five. No doubt. No doubt. Next up, Jeezy. George's very own, you know. Um, Young Jeezy. Well, don't call him Young Jeezy anymore. Jeezy. I don't know what to say about Jeezy. I'll say this about Jeezy. I do know what to say. Like, when Jeezy first came out, I don't know, like, I've I've learned, because of people like Jeezy and Juvenile, but but since we're talking about Jeezy, I have learned to how to listen to music now. If, if, if I'm consumed with other music, I'm not listening to whatever that new stuff is, whatever the new thing is. Even though if, if people are talking about it crazy, I'll just wait until I'm ready to digest it. And number number two... After I've listened, give it about two to three more listens, and then you know where it is. Because I was all wrong about Jeezy. I said I didn't like TM 101, and I didn't like this, I ain't like that. And once I went back and listened, I don't know what I was thinking. Big shouts out to Trick Daddy, Lil Wayne, and Young Jeezy on their birthdays. Big shouts out to the International Black Film Festival. The IBFF will be here in town in Nashville this weekend, September the 29th through October the 2nd. Like, if you ever had anything, you know, your wants or passion to do film, write script, direct, produce, be an extra, you really need to get, you need to go to IBFF events. Dot com. That's IBFFEvents.com and see what's going on. Like, it's a myriad of different events going on, you know, like this week. So make sure you check it out. Like, I'm going to the loading dock on Saturday and hang out. But for you, you might not. You might need to go to the panel discussions. You need to go to the class. You want to you You need to do a whole lot of other things that, not me personally. I need to do. So, hey, you make sure you go and check it out. That's IBFFEvents.com. Next up, speaking of film and speaking of black people, this was crucial. I ain't even hear this on TV a lot, but this is crucial. This is the end of an era, for real. This is Serena Williams retiring, Roger Federer retiring, Sue Bird retiring, Silver Fowles retiring. Like, legendary actor, James L. Jones is looking to retire from many of the projects that he's done over the years, most notably Star Wars. The voice actor recently signed over the rights to the Dark Vader character, which means Lucasfilm and Disney will be able to alter his voice digitally to recreate new scenes from the iconic Dark Lord of the Sith without Jones's involvement. Like, yo, that's the end of an era, B. Like, James L. Jones has did a whole lot of other voicing and then played in a whole lot of other film. But this? Yeah. And I'm not a big, I'm not a big, big, like, sci-fi dude. But, Troy, I think I should come to you on this. Like, how do you feel about this? Okay. Speaking of, well, let me give you the other side of cool because this is not really cool to me. Like it's certain thing, it's bro codes that that go unsaid a lot, and this bro code gets broken all the time. But it's like I guess it's for some reason it's cool or something. 
Like, I don't know why it's cool to break this particular bro code. Anyway, the baby, rapper the baby, said that he had sex with Meg the Stallion. Okay, so on my scale of bro codeness, this is a major offense. And I put this on the same level of sending pics if a woman sent them to, like, as a guy. Yeah, I'm, okay, yeah, we all got cell phones. Yeah, all of us have got, got a naked picture or something. You know, hey, okay, okay, I've done worse in my life than that, but I'm just saying. I don't send pictures of women that I know to other, like, to embarrass, like, to nobody. Like, I feel like if that woman was was believed in you that much to send you something, you should have respect for yourself and for others. Now, if she said it was all right, then, hey, it's game. Fair game. In the same respect, don't be going around telling people who you having sex with. As a dude, you can't do that. It's just like I said, it's bro code. You, you, you. You, you, you broke in the bro code. Like, I can't trust you after that. Now, with that being said, I'm not entirely putting it past either one of them to, for this to be a publicity stunt. I don't think nothing is real no more when it comes to entertainment. I think everything is a publicity stunt. Blueface and Christine, whatever that girl name is, that's a publicity stunt. 50 Cent... His baby mama and Diddy, that's a, everybody's a publicity stunt. Academics, Russell Simmons, LL Cool J, publicity stunt. Everybody's publicity. That's it. Nothing is real no more. I don't know. Speaking of possible publicity stunts, but it really ain't. Big shouts out to Lil Nas X. I that like this is boss move. Like there's a show that comes on ESPN, and one of the aspects of the show, Jalen Jacoby. Um, Soft move or boss move? Okay, so if it's a soft move, then it's terrible. If it's a boss move, then hey, it's, you, hey, you bossed up, or it's, a, or it's good. All right, Lil Nas X is playing a concert. He got he got he got protesters outside his joint because you know they're saying that he's 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 homosexual. This is not right. This that and third. However you feel about that, then that's how you feel about that. South move a boss move, though, to send protesters that are protesting you pizza. Boss move. That is a boss move right there. Regardless of how you feel about it, I feel like that's a boss move. Like, I'm going to send my haters pizza. They can't chant if they eating pizza, B. That's all I'm saying. We'll be back with more on the Surround Sound podcast. I'm sure it's going to be a song by Lil Wayne or Jeezy or Trick Daddy. But uh, we'll see you on the other side of the break. NFL. College football, that's called Football 101, no doubt.